Hi everyone, this is Kathy Groskirth with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple. And today I want to talk about matching invoices manually in the Banking Center. And sometimes you'll have to do this, especially if you are transferring files, maybe from QuickBooks Desktop to online by using lists and different types of things like that to get the QuickBooks Online file up to date where it should be. But it's real important to understand a little bit of information behind the appropriate use of matching, adding, and excluding. And I do have some videos on that which will help you if you want to watch those before watching this. But at any rate, what we want to do now is just talk about, say like for instance, you had to manually import a bunch of invoices from a different list. And of course, in some cases are not going to actually match up in the banking center to the bank detail that comes through or to the bank transactions that come through. And I've got a couple of examples that I want to show you. The first one here is one for $2,775. It's showing here as being a uncategorized income. This was actually an Intuit payment that I received through a QuickBooks online, another file. This is a test file. So basically I imported some invoices in here and of course it's not gonna match up. So this is what you've gotta do. Any circumstance like that, when you know that there's an invoice that this needs to match up to, I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And what you wanna do, you don't, what a lot of people will do is they'll just go ahead and add that and that's not what you need to do. You have to go over here to this little button right here and click on find match. And when you do that, it'll open up this other screen. Now, generally speaking, the list of invoices that I've imported should show up in here. And lo and behold, it does. So before I even click on that, you can also turn on this, what we call suggest matches. And that will also either add or take away. So if none of those look right, then you can turn off and then that way you can see the full list. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and click on this because I know this is the one that that goes with. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And as you can see, when we go back to the banking center, if you click on categorize, it's going to show up in there. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this unless I filter the dates, which I will. I'll go ahead and do that so you can see. And I'll scroll down a little bit. It may take me a while to find it. Well, anyway, I'm not going to worry about trying to find it right now. That's what happens when you do things live. You can't find things when you want to. But anyway, I'm going to go back to the for review, but you can see it's no longer in for review. It's gone now. Okay. So let's see. We've got this other one here for $399.99, which is, I know that that's also an invoice. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to click on it and do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and click on find match. And so the date of that payment was 216. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And that hopefully will give me, let's see, we should have a $300 or 399 payment in here somewhere. Somewhere around that time. And you've got to be very careful as to where you match these up to. So this payment was made on 216. So we're actually looking at probably this one for 24. And you got to understand that the AI is going to suggest that the payee may be something that it shouldn't be. So anyway, let's go ahead and save that. And that'll take you back to the list. Let's see if there's one more that we can do. Here's one that that's for $600. So let's go on here. And again, we don't want to just click on add because we want to see if we have an invoice that will match to that. And let's do that. And we actually do, and it shows this one in particular. So and if we wanted to uh, widen that group, a list we can certainly do that 
but as of right now if we click on that then it's going to limit that list and here we go there's that one for Samantha Stevens payment was received on 222 invoices dated 220 and then we'll click on save and there we go all right and let's see maybe we can do one more here so let's see here's one for 225 for 700 And there we go. It, with that turned on, it suggests that this is the one that it goes to. But this is showing that it's dated before the payment. So we may want to uncheck that and look and see if there's an earlier one that that can go with. Here we go. We've got one for 131. And that's probably the one that it goes to. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Like I said, you got to be very careful when you're looking at these payments when they were received in the dates of the invoices. So anyway, and let's do this final one for 1050. And there we go. I'm see it right here is this one for Intuit. You can see that the date of the invoice is 228 and the date of the payment is 34 so I'm pretty sure that that's the one so I'm gonna go ahead and click on save here anyway that's basically all I have for today like I said you have to be really careful when you're trying to match these up because you want to make sure that you go in here and make sure you're matching the invoice to the payment you don't want to in other words you don't want to just click on add because you're duplicating stuff that's already in here so that's where a lot of people get in trouble so again it'll be worth it for you to watch those first few videos on matching and adding transactions in the banking center anyway hope you'll have a wonderful day we will see you soon take care everybody thank you for watching i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others my goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.